it's time for another track guide and this time I am bringing you the notoriously difficult Canada circuit. So Canada today, the rest are in the links below and also in the playlist. I am going through all tracks on F1 Clash, giving you the best, best advice and strategies possible. And let's get at it. I am using the Stroll and the Tifi to get my mid-pack starts. And we're going to dive in to the track of Canada. Let's take a deeper look at Canada. And the characteristics are a grip and a tyre track. So you've got some straights, but it's not necessarily a speed track. Looking at the track itself, into turn one and two, you've got a medium chance and a high chance of overtaking. Then it becomes three and four, very difficult, but four and five, well, into five and six, I should say, is a very good opportunity to overtake on this track. Going through the blue section down into the hairpin turns 10 is your next best. You often dive up the inside on turn 10. That's the best chance of overtaking, I would say, personally, outside of turn one and then coming down the back straight into the last corner escaping the wall of champions turns 13 and 14 is a very decent opportunity to overtake as well so really turns one for up to turn one and two you want to push into turns three and four push a little bit turns six you want to push and the hairpin turn 10 and then turn 13 14 everywhere else you want to conserve because it's not really a great overtaking spot and it's very very tough track even starting at the front it's very difficult in terms of the boosts Jin, downforce eagle rooster and taurus so tire management boosts cornering boosts and we've got the grip in there as well and we are now going to move into a live strategy i'm going to give you two strategies to follow i'm going to give you a 4-4 and a 5-3 with some pretty good results, so you'll want to make sure you check that out. Canada, it is, and it is raining in Canada. However, I'm hoping for a dry race to give you the strategy for the dry. And in terms of starting positions, P11 and P15, and we do have a dry chat. Now then, for this, we are going to go medium on Latifi, and we're going to put on the Eagle. And then the one that I also like on here is the Kawai, which is a newer boost out. And it is a very good boost indeed. So here we go. And we're going to try and do four laps on each, potentially five. I'll see how it goes. So can we get a good start? That's the key here. Very, very tough track to overtake at. And we do make a decent start. And it is P9 for Stroll, P14 for Latifi. And we're going to cut them down at the end of this part here. So we'll cut down. And it's a, you'll see by the track guide that I sort of gave you beforehand, it's a very low possibility of overtaking mostly round this track. And we're going to try and just make up a position in the main part of it as we come down to start another lap. And we're just watching the AI we're going to want to get past any hard tyre AI in this as Stroll loses a position. Nope, carries it and keeps it. And a lot of the field at the front are on a different strategy. So we're halfway through the second lap. And we're just going through the section. Good hairpin is a good chance of overtake. But we have got Gasly fighting Perez. And we've got Latifi at the 14th position. So, back into turn one, we've got a chance through turn one, but we've had a bad chicane. And we're right behind Perez. Perez on that hard tyre. So we'll boost again on turns five and six, and we'll try and get past here. And can we do it? We can. So P8 now. And we've got Latifi's drop to position, but that's not too bad. And down into the hairpin, stroll P8, Latifi. Can we go up the inside? A bit too far back. So, one lap to go for Stroll, and he'll come back for some medium tyres. And we're pretty low on tyre, so we're going to conserve. And the rivals for Stappen should run out of tyre fairly soon, because he's pretty low. So, we're definitely going to do five laps for Latifi. 
and Stroll is definitely going to come in at this lap. And ahead of us, about two people pitting, and behind us, not too many. So we're going to come out in a bit of traffic as Stroll comes into the pits, and he gets slowed up by Hamilton a little bit. Latifi, though, now P14 up to P10, needs to get ahead of Gasly, does, but can we get Alonso? Come on, it'd be a nice move up the inside. We can. So P8, crucial part of the race. Latifi's got some free air. And he can now boost all the way to pit. With the rest of the field in front pretty much pitting. Apart from two. And Latifi follows Perez in. And he gets slowed down again by the Red Bull. It means we're going to fall behind. And back out. So Latifi now. Oh, didn't get Alonso. We needed that Alonso position. P15 for Latifi. And you can see how hard this track is. It is a very, very tough track. So, as we carry on, Stroll is up to P7 now. And Latifi's got to come through the field just a little bit. Can Stroll get Verstappen? He gets Mercedes in the pits, P6. And sadly followed Verstappen there. P14 with Latifi and we get past the rival Alonso makes a mistake and we're up to now P12 with two laps to go or one and a half depending on where we are and Latifi can we go up the inside in the next corner and there's a mistake there from Bottas and we are now P11 what about in the hairpin up the inside please oh nearly nearly we've got Stroll P4 and this is turning out absolutely a superb race. As Latifi comes across the line, it's P10. And this is a very tough track. Not a lot of places to overtake. You've got to believe in your strategy. And that's what we are doing. So Latifi, P10. We've got him up five spots. We've got Stroll into P3. Beautiful move from Stroll. Latifi now P8. Two places there. And that is P3 and P8 from very tough positions on the grid both doing a four and a four and a five and a three strategy in canada so that's one for you to certainly check out that is canada done and dusted two great strategies for you to follow and a very good guide of what boost to use on there as well give that a try let me know how you get on and also remember there's a playlist for all track guides and a playlist in terms of descriptions below for each track as well remember drop me a subscribe free to do and it helps support the channel i'll see you in the next one